Well, good morning. It's um, Wednesday, February 4th. We're here in the Senate hearing room for um, a um, Marion County Board of Commissioners meeting. And if you'll join us, we always uh, start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, it's another uh, good day to be here. We're going to start off with uh, public comment. We don't have anybody signed up for public comment. I just want to make sure if there is anybody here that needs to. Don't see anybody, so we're going to go right into our consent calendar. Good morning, Mich Commissioner Brentano. Good morning, Chair Cameron. I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent calendar this morning. On that, under Board of Commissioners, OLC applications with recommended approval, the North Fork Crossing Restaurant in Lyons, the Hitchin Post Bar and Grill, Salem. Finance schedule a public hearing on February 18th, 2015 to consider granting an exemption to allow the use of a request for proposal as an alternative competitive process for a public improvement contract for the health services renovation project of the health services building. Public Works receive hearings officer's decision dismissing conditional use, case CU 14030 Bush, clerk's file 5691, and receive hearings officer decision granting conditional use application case CU 14022 Marion Ag Service Clerk's File 5692. I'll second your consent motion. And um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, next up on our agenda today in the action category is um, uh, business services. Uh, consider approval of an order reappointing uh, Jerry Baumgartner, Jason Hervey, and Derek. Kernan and appointing Joshua Graves and Marilyn Williams to the Marion County Compensation Board. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning, commissioners. I'm Kathy Crocker, Volunteer Services Coordinator for Marion County. And today um, we are here to, um, to appoint and reappoint uh, some members to the Marion County Compensation Board. And as you know, that Compensation Board recommends salary levels. Um, for 10 elected officials, uh, the three county commissioners, <laughs> the assessor, clerk, district attorney, sheriff, and treasurer, and two justices of the peace. And today I've brought before you the two that we, um, the others that are, that are asking for reappointment have been here in the past and have, you've met them. But the two I've brought today, Josh Graves and M. Williams, um, come today with a lot of great experience in human resources, um, consultation of compensation, and I think will bring a lot to this committee. So we're really excited, and I'd like you to meet them. This is M. Williams. I'll let her introduce herself. Yes, I'm M. Williams. Um, many people ask why the M, and it's <laughs> because there were two Marylands in uh, the unit I worked in. It was a little confusing, so I ended up with a shortened version of Maryland. Um, I've had about 25 years in HR in the state of Oregon system, and much of that has been in the classification con compensation arena, and uh, with a little bit of collective bargaining sprinkled in there. And I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to serve on this board. Great, we're glad to have you um, step up and serve too. As commissioners, we think it's a really important position. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, my name is Josh Graves. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer at Catholic Community Services. I've been in social services now for about 22 years, worked uh, nonprofits and juvenile justice, government juvenile justice. Currently, as the Chief Administrative Officer at Catholic Community Services, I oversee the HR department, the fiscal department, most of our service operations as well, and it's just an honor to serve on this board. I think that any time community members can step up and help be good stewards of funding, especially public funding, it's a great opportunity to integrate those resources. And again, I'm just honored to serve. Thanks, Joshua. No, I'd questions? just be repeating what you said. I do appreciate you stepping forward. Kind of a complicated and can be controversial subject matter you're in. I'm a little 
curious, uh, you know, or no, neither of you have actually been on it. So how much time commitment does this take? Or should we tell them that after? They, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> My understanding is that they will begin a meeting in March. Um, in the past, there have been one or two, uh, about two-hour meetings. Um, our staff in business services uh, put together their packets for review prior to their meetings so they come prepared and, and can have those discussions. So it's not a huge commitment, but it's an important one. It is. Okay. The chair, I would like to make a motion that we do approve an order that appoints Jerry Bumgarner, Jason Herb, Derek Kernan, and Joshua Graves, and M. Williams to the Marion County Compensation Board. I'll second your motion, and uh, all those in favor will say aye. 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 Motion passes. Um, welcome. Thank you for serving. We appreciate it. And, th and thanks for taking the time to come down. Very much appreciate the opportunity to meet you, and good luck in the, your endeavors. Thank you. Next on our uh, list today is community services. Um, I believe Tamara is here to um, share with us the um, uh, consider approval of um, appointing Amy Coulter Allen to a key volunteer position. Welcome. Good morning, Commissioners. Tamara Getch, Director for Marion County Community Services Department. Uh, Amy is obviously not here with me this morning. We did anticipate her, um, but she got uh, derailed this morning. So um, I'm happy to uh, bring forward her application for uh, a consideration and uh, for the Board of Commissioners to consider whether or not she can be appointed as a key volunteer for the Marion County Fair Board. Uh, as I've stated in earlier prior presentations, the uh, Marion County Fair Board is limited to seven volunteers, and the weight and responsibility of our board is far greater than uh, what seven individuals can really take on, even though we do have contractual services for event coordination. And so one of the things that Marion County started a little over a year ago was this position of key volunteer. It's an official appointment from the Board of County Commissioners to serve like a board member. Uh, they attend all of the fair board meetings. However, they don't have uh, voting rights at the, those board meetings, but they are responsible for projects. So these are individuals who understand the commitment um, that comes along with being a key member and a volunteer member of the fair board. And they're also um, hoping, uh, which we saw earlier this year, they're hoping that when the position comes open that they will be considered for a volunteer, or excuse me, as a board member on the fair, fair board. So Amy has been an active member with the fair through the 4-H for years. She's very knowledgeable about the barns and what takes place there, and she will bring great value to us. Great. I noticed in her application she's been involved for 30 years in the county fair, so pretty dedicated individual to our fair. I, th I think she'll know what's going on, and perhaps she has some ideas to make it better. Also, 10 years as advisor with FFA, so a long commitment. And uh, what's the right word? Ag teacher at State and High School? I saw that somewhere. Yes. But involved, so it really rhymes with what we we're trying to do with our fair. So? Okay. If I could, then I'd make a motion that we do approve the order that appoints Amy Golter Allen to a key mm -hmm. volunteer position for the Marion County Fair. And I'll second the motion. All those in favor will say aye. 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 Okay, thank you. Tammy. Um, motion passes. And thanks, Tamara. Um, second thing on the list, I think you're up still. We're going to talk about. Um, um, the Oregon, Gar Oregon Garden Foundation 2015 annual budget. Great. Uh, again, Tamara Getch, Director of Community Services. I'm joined here today um, by an Oregon Garden Foundation board member as well as staff to the um, board, and I'll let you, them introduce themselves. Uh, this is an annual review of the budget. Uh, the board received a budget in late December made approval in their uh, January meeting and we bring this uh, 
board, Oregon Garden Board uh, approved budget uh, for your consideration. Um, Naomi is the key staff person who's responsible for putting that uh, budget together. And then Randall can talk to you about uh, the responsibilities of the FAIR Foundation board members. Great. Go right ahead. Uh, commissioners, my name is Randall Thomas, and I am chair of the Oregon Garden Foundation Board. And we thank you for your time uh, this morning. Uh, what you have before you is the Oregon Garden Foundation 2015 budget. It was approved by the board, uh, the Garden Foundation, as well. The Silverton City Council approved the budget on Monday evening. So the last step under the management agreement is for the county to review and approve it. With me this morning is Naomi Dreyer. She is the um, administrative coordinator for the Oregon Garden Foundation Board, and she can answer uh, questions as well with regards to the budget. Do you have any questions? I, I, I do. Um, is their budget, uh, is your budget a um, on the fiscal year or is it the calendar year? It's the calendar year. You're, you're, so your fiscal year is a calendar year Correct. for the Oregon Garden. Okay. So this, this budget is already January on. Okay. Thank Correct. you. That's where I was a little confused earlier when I was reading it. Do you have any questions? Well, I really don't have any questions. Just a comment. This is an annual procedure where we should have got done. Uh, and I blame myself. I was the chair last year, and I should have been brought this in. It's supposed to be approved by December, so a little bit late. But now that they have a true president in, this won't happen again. <laughs> but it's a uh, pretty routine budget for the foundation, um, and, we, and I worked on it on the board like to see some more fundraising and our, our efforts are probably going to really focus for that in this next year and we're going to the Oregon Garden I say we but I guess that's fine we'll be doing pretty good uh, and Randall I don't know if you can talk about it yet but moving along tr trying to grow trying to get better and, and it's certainly going to be a role for the foundation so I'm expecting there'll be a presentation in the coming months with uh, both the current activities at the garden, a big one being the uh, Christmas in the Garden event, which seems to be wonderfully popular and doing well, and then this growth I'm referring to. So, um, Randall, somebody, went, what do you foresee that you well, can come Commissioner back McConnell, and give we, we thank true. you for your service not only as chair last year of the board, but also on the, the uh, Oregon Garden Foundation board. And you're correct, the um, Christmas in the Garden had over 22,000 visitors this year, which was up from about, was it 12? last year so we're looking for quite a bit of expansion there and the board at its upcoming meeting will be considering a uh, position description and the hiring of a development director to move forward um, a lot of the the grants <coughs> and the the foundation funding um, and soliciting funding and opportunities to grow the garden and if you've uh, for those have not had the opportunity the garden's a wonderful experience and it's a gym here in marion county and something that we all should celebrate. Great. Great. Um, thank you. Thank you, Randa. Did you want to um, mention something about the... Um... Yes, I was just going to say that. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, we will be working... What, the way that the Board of Commissioners um, makes their decisions and not authorizes uh, that is through an order. And so we'll be working with legal counsel in the Board's office to create an order for the approval if that is your decision of the f uh, foundation's budget for this year. All right, then uh, I'd like to make a motion that we do approve the Oregon Garden Foundation 2015 annual budget and authorize signing of the order that references that when it's prepared. And I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Mr. Chair. Yeah. For those uh, in our audience who have never been to the garden, it's right next to the city of Silverton on Cascade Highway. And um, I took my grandson there, and I didn't think that a six-year-old would think much of it, but he just had a ball and really loved it. So uh, there's so many things that Oregonians take for granted about our area. I think they should go out there and see how beautiful Oregon can be. Thank you. Yeah, I follow up on that. My wife and I actually stayed out there one night and had a great dinner and enjoyed the property. And it's really a 
a nice facility to even just, even if you're living here in Salem, to get away for a night. Rooms are wonderful. And they accept pets. We took our uh, Labradors with us, so they had a good time too. It's great. Yeah. Thank you very much for your Thank service you, and what you're doing over there, and look forward to a good 2015. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, I think that concludes. We have no public hearing today. We concludes our official business. We just need to read the calendar for uh, where we're going to be the next um, week or so. Um, starting with today, Wednesday the 4th, we're going to be in Woodburn for a Marion County uh, Woodburn Leaders Meeting at uh, Luis's Taqueria. 523 French Street at noon. Um, and then tomorrow, we have a department heads elected officials meeting here on the fifth floor at 930 um, that uh, Commissioner and I will be at. The Thursday, also from 3 to 3.30, we have an executive session uh, located in the Silverton Conference Room on the fifth floor. Uh, Monday, the 9th of February, uh, Association of Oregon Counties, uh, Governance and Legislative Committee board meeting, um, various meetings throughout the day there, starting at 8 o'clock till 3 o'clock. Tuesday, the 10th, we have our monthly state and Marion County state and leaders meeting at the Covered Bridge Cafe, 510 North 3rd Avenue in Staten at 7.30. Tuesday the 10th, we have at 3 o'clock an executive session located at the Silverton Conference Room on the fifth floor. Again on Tuesday at 4 o'clock, uh, Marion County Public Safety Coordinating Council. <clears throat> Wednesday uh, the 11th at 7.30, Marion County Chiefs of Police meeting. Um, uh, potentially, I think that one got scratched off our list, but um, we will not be there that I'm aware of. And then on uh, the 11th, Wednesday at 9 o'clock, we have our board session back here. And on Wednesday, the 11th, we also have our Economic Development Advisory Board in the Commissioner's Boardroom on the fifth floor. Those are our activities. Um, any thoughts or comments, uh, Commissioner, before well, probably we not sign off? shaking to the county, but as I'm signing documents here, I realize today's my sister's birthday. Probably saved me a little trouble. She'll get her annual call soon. But I'm thinking she's pretty close to, well, let's put it this way. When the little girls are, are getting to 60, it's an issue, just so <laughs> you know. The other thing to mention is we did have the Council of Government's annual dinner last uh, I don't even remember what day, Thursday night perhaps, sure. and uh, Marion County received an award for cooperating and facilitating, and it's something that we do do and pretty proud of, and there's examples up and down the departments where the county leads and performs, and I'm always proud of them. Yeah, it was um, good to see you go up and get that award, and, and um, the cooperation between uh, the Marion County Board of Commissioners and the staff, basically, that did all that work in uh, Salem Transit. Um, it was a busy week last week. We did a lot, and uh, we're, we've got a busy week this week. So I want to thank staff. Gloria, thank you. Kim, thank you for being here, and thanks CCTV. And I think we're going to go ahead and adjourn this meeting today. Anything else? I'm trying to think of something, but I don't want to set a record either. Oh, I like setting records. Let's just get the work done. All right. All right. We're adjourned.